My name is James A. Johnston, and I am the warden of this institution. When you break the laws of society, they send you to prison. And when you break the laws of prison, they send you here. Now this is a fortress over a mile from dry land, surrounded by freezing water and home to this country's most dangerous criminals. And it is meant to be hard because we are not primarily seeking to rehabilitate. We are seeking to punish. So let's get something straight. Your life is no longer defined by the outside world. Your reputation as a criminal and as a human being counts for nothing in here. Here, you are just a spoke on my wheel. Now it's my hand that turns this wheel. You do your time quietly and peacefully. My wheel keeps spinning round and round. And happily, we can move forward. You do anything to slow my wheel down or bring it to a halt, and I will rain down so much fire and brimstone on you, it will make the good Lord himself jealous. Weaken the whole. That will seem like a summer vacation. And for those of you who haven't bothered to listen because Perhaps you're harboring some hopes of escape. I suggest you listen to this. This prison has the highest level of security on God's green earth. No one has ever escaped from here. And as long as I've got breath in my body, gentlemen, no one ever will. Welcome to Alcatraz. Against the wall. Backs against the wall. You heard it. Backs the backs against the wall. You heard it. Against the wall. Backs to the wall. Don't move. Fucking must. I know keys. You heard it. Backs against the wall. Backs against the wall. Better go ahead and fucking keep.
Guess the shoes are on the other foot now, huh? Earth fire, Keith! Fucking Keith, get in there. Fucking Keith, get in there. The fucking Keith, get in there. 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 What's wrong, Miller? You worried we might want to have some fun with you? Or you worried you might enjoy it? You huh? sick bastard. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> You think you're one real bad motherfucker, don't you? Huh? Oh, Joe, I, I don't take orders from convicts. Woo-wee! Hear that, boys? He doesn't take orders from convicts, huh? Mr. Upstanding Guard of the United States of Incarceration! Let me tell you something, Lakeson. I've been to the puppet show. And now I hold the strings. We're standing here ready to play a little game and you don't know what I'm capable of. So let's dispense with the pre-game and go straight to the fourth quarter. On your fucking knees. On your fucking knees, boy! Down! I'm gonna count to three, likes him. And it's good night. You can't kill me, Joe. You need me. I got these two other little bolts for that. Good night, Lex. One. Two. Okay, Joel. Okay, you you win. Where are the fucking keys, Laxon? Come on! They're on my belt. Burn. Take them. Find the one we need. Any more shit like that, or I'll fucking send you the kingdom come. You hear me, Laxon? to the yard. Not all of us have the keys to every door. Just the section to our sign. So which of you assholes has got the key to the yard? Have you got the key, motherfucker? I don't have that key. Come on! Flexin. All the keys I've got are on the ring, Joe. You've got all the keys. Try them all again, Burn. I'm trying to move. We'll try them all again, Burn! Send it to your ass! Come on! If you can't find that key, I'm gonna tear you inside out looking to find.
the new guy, right? There's lots of new guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm Nags. Man, a few words, huh? What's your name? Clarence. Well, you know, Clarence, I'm a man who knows how to get things. Oh, yeah? What kind of things? Whatever you want. I'm good, thanks. If you don't have any money, that's okay. There's other ways for you to get things around here. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> yeah. On your feet, boy. Sis. Hey. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah. As well as could be expected. Uh, where's mom and dad? You getting enough to eat in here? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, you can't say you think much of the food, though. Where's mom and dad? I'm here. That's what matters. Alice. Where's mom and dad? They're not coming. They say you brought shame on the family. Well, so that's it? You're just gonna cut me loose? I'll still come visit you. Aren't they supposed to be Christians? What about all that forgiveness stuff? I pray every night that they'll find it in their hearts to forgive. Find it in their hearts? I'm their son, Alice. You shouldn't have to find anything. Don't they love me? In their own way. 
They're just upset. Oh, they're upset? Look where I am. That's the thing with mom and dad. They only care about themselves, selfish pricks. Come on, Clarence. No, fuck them! Clarence. Please. Look, let's... Let's just forget this whole thing, shall we? What do you mean? Don't come and see me again. I'm on my own in here anyway. No, Clarence, please! Nags in the mess hall. <laughs> you got balls, kid. I'll give you that. You see that guy over there? Yeah. Ah, it's a good friend of mine, Joe Kretzler. Ever heard of him? No. He used to run a connector group on the outside. Kretzler Cowell Gang. Two bank jobs up and down the west coast. And ended up in Chicago. Wanna come meet him? Oh, it's okay. Nothing to worry about. Joe's a straight up guy. I told him what you did. And, yeah. We'd like to help you out. Telling you about. What's his name, Ken? Uh, Clarence Carnes. Clarence? Jim Chris. How you doing? Could be better, I guess. Huh. It's Marvin. And Sam. Hey. Good to meet you. Me and Clarence. Business to discuss. And a uh, Bukiak you tuned up. Hanks Richmond, he's gonna be out of hospital tomorrow. Word around the campfire is, uh, you got a target on your back. Yeah, no shit, that's why I hit him. Yeah, yeah well, when he gets out, he's not gonna be looking for a plaything or asking you out for a candlelit dinner. That piece of shit wants you dead. The problem is, he's a connected guy. Now when Nags comes at you, you you could get the better of him. Hell, you could even kill him. Then they'd kill you. Unless I take care of it. Do you want me to take care of you? You don't think I can handle it myself? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking balls on this kid. I told you. <laughs> no, you can't. So if you help me out with this, what do you want in return? Smart kid. Right. 
Not when life is for free. So what's the price? You're loyal. It's important to have friends. Especially in here. What are you looking at up there? Thought I saw your wife changing. You want to talk about family? How's that uh, useless junkie son of yours doing? Oh, that's right. He's not doing so good. Got his head blown off sticking up a liquor store for drug money. You fucking piece of shit. Go on. Give me an excuse. Come on, Phil. We got better things to do. You missed a spot. Should have seen the kid's face when Nags hit the deck. He goddamn shit a brick. So what are you in here for, anyways? Yeah, um, buddy of mine, we held up this gas station in Oklahoma. My friend, he was, he was real nervous. He held the gun on the guy while I was cleaning out the register. All of a sudden, I heard this bang. When I turned around, clerk was lying on the floor in a pool of his own blood. My buddy took off. Let me carry the can. Still ain't found that son of a bitch. No sound like enough to end up in here. What else you do? Me and a couple guys, we bust out of Leavenworth. <laughs> Guess you didn't get very far. Seven days on the run before they captured us. Not bad. Six years back, me and Ernie Kyle busted out of McNeil by stowing away in a garbage truck. Got picked up after three days. No, I guess we've all got our hard luck stories. What's yours? Yeah. Robbed a bank in New Haven, Kentucky. Did some time in Atlanta for that. I didn't like it much. I busted out. Yeah. Old Gramps here didn't even get a mile from the place, did you, Burn? <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. Impression on you other guys. It's a you know, strange shirt. You know, I guess I got you to thank for that. Well, this is uh, I'm not gonna tell you. Goes no further. You understand? Yeah. Okay then. We're busting out. Oh, me, Joe, Sam, Martha. Yeah, well, no one's ever escaped from this place, right? We tried. We succeeded. First time for everything. I'm 
So where do I fit in in all this? Playing like this? Huh? Do with a guy like you on the team. Then you ain't gonna shoot your shorts when he comes down. I want to give you anyways. 99 years. Eligible for parole after 30. Seems like a risk we're taking, huh? you know or not, but uh, you're the youngest prisoner we've ever had here at Alcatraz. Yes, sir. Now, you should also be aware that uh, that's nothing to be proud of. Of course, sir. Most of the prisoners we have here will never taste freedom again. They will die within these walls, or within the walls of another prison. You, however, have the chance to be particularly unique. Given your age and with an exemplary record of good behavior, parole is still possible in your future. So, with that in mind, do you really think it's in your best interest to keep company with a murderer and his associates? A man needs friends to survive in a place like this, Warden. Rather naive of you to consider a group of uh, incurable reprobates friends. And make no mistake, Carnes, these criminals' loyalty is based entirely upon personal gain. The moment you cease to be useful, they will cast you aside without another thought. With all due respect, Warden, why the sudden interest in my well-being? You made it very clear we're here to be punished, not rehabilitated. Yes, normally that is true, but as I said, your case is unique. You see, Carnes, obedience to authority is a biblical principle. As it says in Romans 13:2, whosoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed. And those who do so will bring judgment upon themselves. Now, by the grace of God, I have been given the task of punishing the prisoners of Alcatraz. Still, like most human beings, I like to keep a sliver of hope that some of them can be reformed. Unfortunately, hope to lead a civil life died for most of these men many years ago. The question you need to ask yourself, Carnes, is what direction do you want to take? Now, my hope is you will choose a better life. And within these pages, you can find a new direction that will lead you to that life. By absorbing the wisdom within these pages, you can find salvation and repentance. But that is your choice, Carnes. I suggest you begin with John 24 to 26.
That is all. Yes, sir. So, for the second time, the Pharisees summoned the man who had been blind and said, Speak the truth before God. We know this man is a sinner. Whether or not he is a sinner, I do not know, the man replied. All I know is this. Once I was blind, and now I can see. You see what he's trying to do, don't you? What? Turn him into a snitch. Look, I'm not a rat. I'm glad to hear that. Let me tell you a couple of things on this clearance. Everything the guys at the top do is designed to keep the little guy down. And Morgan, he's at the top. He sees us as the little guys. He's trying to plant those seeds of fear and paranoia. Make us turn against each other. Earn. Give me and Clarence a couple of minutes. Cell block A, Nicky D'Alessandro. Owes me some money. You want me to collect? <laughs> that ship is sailed. If I don't notice that. If I don't notice. Yeah. How would I do it? Uh, Sam will take care of the weapon. Well, why doesn't Sam just take care of the whole thing? Look, kid. My line of work. If you want to be part of a crew, you got to make your bones. If you do this little job for me, I'm not going to relax knowing you have the stones for the bigger job. So when do you want it done? Sam, get the weapon to you tomorrow. Point the guy out. And it's up to you. Well, let me give you a piece of advice. Do it quietly. Watch the guy. Pick your moment. And in and out quickly before anyone knows what the fuck happened. You make a song and dance of this, and you won't see daylight for years. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Good. Bones and stones, kid. Bones and stones. This. Pass it on to the kid. It's fitting the Alessandro for suit. Fits who? Joe gave the order. Clarence agreed. Why the fuck ain't you doing it? Kid's gotta make his bones burn. You know how it is. Not word. 
Party is here. You told the kid to put the button on Delisandro? You got a problem with that? Sam and Marvin can do it. You don't think the kid's got stones for it? I'm not saying that. It's, it's just so young. You brought him into this, Burn. If he's old enough to do the other thing, he's old enough to do this. He hasn't done this before. I, what? I, I know. What if it doesn't go his way? Don't you think you're taking the same risk by making him part of the other thing? It's not the same. It's different. He could get out and start living his life again without wasting 30 fucking years. Why are you pushing this? I just don't think you should do it. It needs experience. Give me the job, I'll take care of it, no problem. Oh, Bert. I offered the job to the kid. He accepted it, so let's just drop it, okay? Let go. <laughs> You disobey an order of mine again, and I will slit your fucking throat. Yeah, yeah. Something from Sam. Right. Can you sit well with you? It is what it is. Well, you're honest with me, you know. What do you want me to say? Okay. I live with you. I've never told anyone this before. What? I killed a few people in my time. All best and fleeting, nothing personal. Not that that's any excuse. The thing is. Every time I pull the trigger, it's like, it's like a flame inside of me, flickered. It went out once. It took me years to get that relit again. Look, I know this ain't gonna be easy. This is the life. It doesn't have to be your life, kid. This plan, if it works, you get out of here. Go somewhere, start afresh. Forget about this miserable fucking place and everything in it. It's a lot harder to do with a stain on your soul. That's what it feels like, you know? Some guys can put a button on a guy and feel nothing. Look at this. It stains from you. You don't know which one you're gonna be until you do it. Ghosts with me. You don't want to be haunted like I am, trust me. If I don't do this for Joe, I'll become his enemy. Overnight, my chances of survival in this place fucking plummet.
But just go. Joe, will he have his ass you do this? Not me. You understand? Go! How's it going, Burn? Oh, man. Take me longer, man. Where'd it happen? Yeah. You know, the rumor mill in this place is an interesting thing. Most of the time, I, I don't pay attention to it, but sometimes it throws up something that just catches your ear. Yeah? Like what? A friend with the laundry. Word around the campfire is the kid didn't close the deal. I already got done. You know, you're becoming a very strange man in your old age, Bern. What do you mean? You don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Alcatraz, The Rock, the mighty escape-proof jail in San Francisco Bay, dreaded by every American lawbreaker. It is dusk, and within the prison, a mutiny of hardened, life-term killers has become war to the death. Armed with weapons from the prison armory, the prisoners boast they will shoot their way out. Nobody has yet escaped from Alcatraz alive. I've tried each one at least three times. It ain't here. All right, get in here! On your knees! On your fucking knees! On your fucking knees! You need to call this thing off. Listen to me. Even if you did have the keys to the yard, chances are you'd get gunned down the moment you stepped outside. Fuck that, Joe. We come too far to go back. That ain't true. No one's died yet. Don't buy that horse shit, Joe. Don't listen to him, Joe. Come on, you can change all this. No one needs to die today. Fuck him, Joe! Can't get out this burn this motherfucker to the ground. Take as many bulls with us as we can. Starkly, boys, you start killing people now, it'll be the gas chamber for all of you. So listen to me. We can get the warden down here right now. All right, shut the fuck up, all of you! I need to think! I can't think with you prairie dogs hollering in my fucking ear! How many guards do they have hostage? Three. Logison, Miller, and Weinhold. Okay. Well, considering the strategic disadvantage because of the hostage situation, I don't think we have sufficient custodial strength to move in again. 
Sir, we, we have to rescue those men. For all we know, they could be dead already. Precisely. There are too many variables to consider right now. So what are we gonna do? Sit here and twiddle our thumbs while those bastards run riot? Burton, we have never allowed a prisoner to escape from this jail. Do you really think I'm gonna allow these prisoners to change that reputation? No, sir. So, as it says in Romans 13, 4, but if you do wrong, be afraid. For he does not bear the sword in vain, for he is a servant of the Lord, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. So, what's our next move, sir? Call General Stilwell. It's time to bring in the military. It's your final chance, all of you. Where is the key? I told you, we didn't have it in the first place. Blackson. God's truth, Joe, all the keys I had were on that belt. <laughs> Shoot this piece of shit. At Whoa! Let's not make any rash moves here. He could still be useful to us. Shoot him, Clarence. Shoot him dead. What? Put one between his eyes right here now! Come on, Clarence! Clarence, don't do it. What are you, fucking boss now? No. Call me my fucking idea. Yeah, it was your idea. This totally fucking... <laughs> Let the kid find it out. Come on. Come on, Clarence. I want to go ahead. Show that rage, Clarence. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna let you go. It's all right. It's all right. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you go. Come on. Look. That's all right. Shush. Shush, shush. That's it. That's my boy. That's it. It's okay. It's okay. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right.
Why the long faces? Motherfuckers deserved it. You think they'd have shown us any mercy if roles were reversed? Fuck no. Nice one, Joe. There are five prisoners that we know of involved in the disturbance. Now, their leader appears to be Joseph Kretzler. Now, Kretzler's background... Now, let me stop you right there, Warden. I don't need to know where these men came from. I only need to know where they're going. And that's straight to hell. The eyes of a nation are upon us. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with us in this moment. I haven't come here to issue an order to hold our position. I'm not holding a goddamn thing except the enemy by the balls. Our ultimate goal here is to regain control of this institution and send a big, clear message that if you fuck with Alcatraz, Alcatraz will fuck with you. You know, there's something I can't get out of my head. Mm -hmm. What's that? I've always been proud of my ability to spot a liar. <laughs> my mother, when she rests in peace, would say, it takes one to know one. And I know my instinct has never betrayed me. When Hole and Miller said they didn't have the keys, they were telling the truth. They never had the keys. But the real kicker is, Axon, that motherfucker was convinced those keys were on his belt. So what are you saying, Joe? We got a traitor in our midst. Oh, come on. You're just being paranoid. Am I, Burn? Well, someone's fucked me over, and I ain't never been fucked over. And I'm gonna figure out who the fuck it is.
You two will advance on the west side exterior of cell block B. There's a window position there. I want you to drop two grenades in. You two, same process with the west side exterior of cell block A. Two more grenades in that section. Now I'll have a choice. When they see those grenades come in, they can either remain there and be blown to kingdom come, or they can run back into the corridor that leads to cell block C. You two will be positioned in cell block C. As soon as those sons of bitches enter, I want you to fill them so full of holes, they'll whistle as they fall. Virgin, I want you to take up a sniper's position here in the warden's office. That window has a commanding view of the whole yard. If by some miracle those bastards make it that far, shoot. And shoot to kill. Got it. Okay, let's go! you gotta watch. What do you say, Marv? You having yourself a little silent rebellion over here? I don't know nothing about that key, Joe. I wanted to get out of here. Same as you. Shine a spotlight on me now, Joe. Just giving you your day in court, Sam. I think you deserve that. So what do you gotta say about this, Sam? I'm not a fucking traitor. So we agreed there is one. Look, I don't know about that, Joe. <laughs> you want my two cents? I thought we all came along on this thing because we wanted the fuck out of this place. Makes no sense to hide a key and grind this shit to a halt. Why would anyone do that? Well, hell, Sam, I don't know. Maybe someone's not happy with the current leadership. Someone's disgruntled, perhaps. Somebody wants to stay here and make a play for the leadership. Better than rain in hell and serving heaven! You think I want to be the leader, Joe? Well, if you do, Sam, you remember this. Heavy lies the head that wears the crown. How many people have I clipped on your say-so, Joe? Shit, I'd take my own mother out if you gave me the nod. And you're gonna stand there and question my loyalty? I wasn't this scrunnel before, but I fucking am now, you crazy fuck. All right, Sam. All right, Sam. Take it easy. What to say about this bird? Not a lot, Joe. We haven't been seen out to eye recently, have we? Planning this shit ain't been easy. There's a lot of tension flying around. 
You want to get out of here, Burn? Of course I fucking do. This whole thing's my idea. True. Maybe you got cold feet. Maybe your eyes are bigger than your balls. Maybe an institutionalized old fuck like you realized that life on the outside was pretty fucking daunting. You know, Joe, if you're on a mission to piss off every member of your crew, well, you fucking succeeded. You're a clever man, Burn. You've given me a lot of words, but you haven't given me the right answer. No, Joe. I didn't take the fucking key. Happy now? Jeez. What do you got to say, kid? You've been the source of some shit between me and Burn recently. Look, Joe, that was never my intention. It ain't your fault. Well, Burn here has a good heart. Took you under his wing. Took care of you. Real nice one, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. He's a real stand-up guy. Now here's the thing. He's been in the criminal life for decades. And he's never risen above your standard foot soldier. Why do you think that is? I don't know, Joe. Maybe he didn't want it. No, I think he did. The reason why he's never been a contender for the top seat is his judgment is fucking suspect. Hey, what am I supposed to do? Just stand there while you talk about me like I'm not even here? Back against the wall, Burn! Get back! Received. Over. Await my command. Let's get down to brass tacks, kid. I've known these guys for years. When you do real time with someone, you really get to know them. You've only been here a month or two. I'm just wondering. You can let a broken down old fuck like that get in your ear. Who else can get in there? I don't know what you're talking about, Joe. You're meeting you head with the warden. First thing I fucking did was come and tell you guys about it. That don't mean nothing. It could be just covering your tracks. Covering my tracks on what? Being the warden snitch. What the fuck? Well, some don't smell right. Don't no fucking smell right! The way we fucking planned this, we had a 10 minute gap before that shower went off. When we grabbed those guns, that arm was supposed to right there! Well, you think I'm the fucking rat, Joe? Well, it makes fucking sense, don't it? What the warden tell you, huh? Put skids on the operation, you get a reduced sentence. You lost your goddamn mind. Yeah! That's how it went down for you. You know, I should have smashed your Fucking ass the moment this shit started, you fucking rat! What the fuck? You're making a big fucking mistake, Joe. Well, come on, guys. Burn, how many fucking years have we known each other? It doesn't have to be this way. Yeah, well, you should have thought of that before you pulled the gun on the kid. Fuck. Come on, Burn. The kid's a fucking rat. It's a fucking rat, Burn! You're wrong, Joe. Kid made me many things, but he ain't no rat. Get some fucking rat, he's about to go down for the dirt now! Shoot him. I'll put a bullet in the 
back of your skull. And I'll put a bullet in the back of yours. Put the gun down, Bernie, and back the fuck off. Fuck you. Back the fuck off, Bern! This kid's gonna get a bullet in the head! You back off! You first, Bernie! Grenades go in on the count of three. One. Back the fuck off, Burn! This kid's about to go down! Back the fuck off. Fuck you. Two. Bernie! Carnes. Take him down. No, sir. I said take him down, Virgin. No, this is my prison, General. I am still giving the orders around here. I have a clean shot. Take it. Don't take it. No, I said no. I need some fucking clarification here. Take it. Don't, don't you dare take that shot, Virgin. The spoon proves mightier than the bars that supposedly escape-proof Alcatraz prison. 
three bank robbers serving long terms scratched their way through grills covering an air vent, climbed a drainage pipe, and disappeared from the forbidding rock in San Francisco Bay. It appears to be the first successful escape in the history of the maximum security prison, and the flight is attributed by Warden Olin Blackwell to the deteriorating condition of the prison, crumbling concrete and eroding metals, with five million needed for repairs. The men the walls couldn't hold are Frank Morris and John and Clarence Anglin. Authorities believe that Morris, who has a superior IQ, masterminded the escape. Ironically, the wanted posters offer only the nominal reward of $50 each for information leading to the arrest of the prisoners. They painstakingly fashion dummies of plaster with hair of paintbrush bristles to stand in for them during cell check while they covered an escape hole with a cardboard grill. All of this was within easy visual range of the guards in the gun galleries. They climbed drain pipes to the top of the cell block and then slid down vents to the ground. Again, all of this within sight of guards. The escape triggered the greatest manhunt in San Francisco's history as agents of the FBI, Coast Guardsmen, Highway Patrol, Sheriff's deputies, and local police join in the search. Whatever their fate, the three convicts have apparently accomplished a feat that many have tried with no success. When did you get out? This morning. So... What do you want? Just to talk. For five minutes. Thanks. I haven't seen his photo of us in years. I always liked that one. That's the last picture of us together before you went to prison. You know, I tried to visit you so many times in those first few years of your sentence. They told me you refused visitors. Yeah, I was a foolish kid back then. Full of anger and confusion. I figured you wanted to cut off all contact, so... I just stopped trying. I understand. Why are you here? I was hoping that maybe one day I could earn your forgiveness. You know what mom and dad would have said about forgiveness? <laughs> Only God forgives. Yeah. Guessing you need something a little closer to home.
you know, Alice, I, I have so many regrets. I never should have cut myself off from you. Family always meant the world to me. So when mom and dad hurt me, I spent years resenting everyone for it. I couldn't deal with my feelings. I was just a stupid young punk who was scared and desperate. I see the truth now. You were all that I cared about most in this world. And I lost you. But now I know it was all for nothing. You have to know that I had a whole different future planned. It wasn't easy growing up with our parents. We all make mistakes, especially when we're young. I want you to know I don't hold anything against you. I never did. You've always been my brother. And you always will be. I just want to be in your life again. Be a brother to you, finally. So for the second time the Pharisees summoned the man who had been blind and said, Speak the truth before God. We know this man is a sinner. Whether or not he is a sinner, I do not know, the man replied. All I know is this. Once I was blind, and now I can see. Listen, 
at the one on high she blew. Then I stop and listen at one on high she blew. Then you stand in anyone's heart, made them want to go. With my girl in the daytime, I walk with her at night. Walk with my good girl in the daytime, walk with her at night. Then I try to teach and tell her how to treat a good man right. When you doing me, mama, says this out of sight. When you doing me, mama, says this out of sight. Say anything a kid man do, well, it be all right. I'm on a jack me pay lane. By my yard back fence. I'm a jack me a pay land. By my yard back fence. I'm not for the whooping, nor any good girl some sense. Love you. Say, none of money in the state but you. 